Hey guys, Power here. A little news video slash update video for Hell Divers 2. Number one, we managed to complete the brand new major order. We just got our 40 medals just now for that as well. The time I've been making this video, brand new major order did just drop from the automaton faction. Split the automaton forces in half at the Draman sector. Liberate the designated plants. We have Matara Bay, Mara Fark, Asari Pass, and Martel. We have five days and 22 hours to complete this, and the reward will be 45 medals. Now the new dailies for Helldivers 2 have not dropped yet either. The dailies should drop around 8 to 9 o'clock EST time tonight. So yeah, let's move on to the next part of this video, shall we guys? Because it's going to get a little, little bit interesting. As well as that, we also have some new, new teasers as some new Super Colony Hive planets popping up. And the little bio thing we have right here, it shows that the Terminant researchers have been researching the Terminids and also have found that their spore producing towers, roughly the size of small skyscrapers, this development appears to be monitored closely. Now this could be indicating another super colony, if we all remember what happened in Meridia, we might be nuking and bombing another plan, unfortunately. Now we also have the success of the previous major order, which we had to interplanetary battle stations, we had to conquer certain planets, and the fate of the X-45 itself remains unclear. We managed to get the cinematic for that. The base was destroyed though, so we get the brand new things for that, which by us completing the order, we managed to get the MLS X-40 Commando rocket launcher, as many of you guys know, which this thing is absolutely awesome. I'm going to show some gameplay of it real quick right now. Now, as many of you guys know, this thing was supposedly advertised to be really good. <laughs> it does not one-shot the spaceships in the sky. It does not have an aim assist lock on it. has a laser beam sight. Though I have found that it's really good for some of the enemy walkers on the ground. As well as it's actually good for some of the rocket barrage enemies and the medium armored guys as well. Um, I have already tested this thing on tanks and walkers. It is not a must-use for those. This thing sucks against those type of enemies.